Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are when you're watching this. This is Howard Goldman from Cleveland, Ohio, Cleveland Clinic. And I'm very happy that you've joined us for this uh, industry theater uh, about macroplastique tried and true. Uh, Dr. Abbas Shoberi, who's from Innova Women's Hospital, uh, will be uh, working on this together with me. And what we'd like to do is really just take you through some of our thoughts and some of the data uh, on why really macroplastic is our injectable of choice at this point. As you can see, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm glad you're with us. This is a 56 year old woman who has persistent stress incontinence after a prior retropubic synthetic sling. And she also had a sacral copopixie at the same time. On our examination, she doesn't really have prolapse uh, and uh, her Q-tip is zero, zero, um, you know, like many patients with the uh, sacral poixy, um, she really doesn't have any hypermobility of the urethra. We did uh, go ahead and again do a urodynamics test on her. Her leak pressures are about 60s and she does have a normal flow pattern. So um, Howard, how would you go about this patient? So my guess is this patient, particularly the fact that she had a sacral complexity and then at the same time a TVT that did not work, and she's got this no urethral mobility, I would almost be concerned that perhaps the sacral complexity, she had been a little hypersuspended, and those can be very, very difficult um, to fix with a mid-urethral sling because you you either, you, you, you otherwise you end up obstructing them because you almost have to, I don't want to say you make it tight, but uh, it, again, it can be very difficult. So this is a case that I would absolutely um, go with a bulking agent. Mm -hmm. So this is a case that I would absolutely go with as a bulking agent um, preferentially. Okay. So let's see what we did here. So with this patient, I agree with you. I see a lot of these kind of patients where they do have hypercorrection of the anterior compartment. And um, and also uh, at follow-up, the patient did quite well. She uh, was dry. And we also uh, did an ultrasound on her here. And um, I'm going to, again, orient the audience. This would be the pubic symphysis here. The, probe is inside the vagina here looking anteriorly. The patient's bladder is there. And then the urethra is going here and we really don't see the urethra is sort of obscured with the bulking agent but it goes through there. What you see also here is the patient's sling that was applied and than the macroplastic that is acting as a cushion for the sling. We are not quite sure really in these kind of patients whether the sling is doing much or not, um, as we discussed, but the urethral bulking definitely worked for this patient. Uh, she responded very well to macroplastic injection. Mm 